Hello guys, so today I'll be talking about how to read the cups. Um, so here we go, we have the Sing Pui, okay? Now why is this called the cup definition? It's because the shape of this thing is uh, the shape of a moon crescent, okay? The moon. Um, the relationship of the sun and moon in magic is a, more like a metaphor okay um the moon absorb the energy of the sun the the full essence the light uh stuff like that okay so this is to when why why and when will you be using this tool for divination is when you want to test uh to see how things are going and how did it really uh like did it absorb um get it or like how things are like you know inside uh, the subject so i just bought this flashlight okay i don't know how it is inside so i have to do my divination so I don't know how this is like, right? Now, this is a physical object. I can use it and then test. Ooh, that's pretty bright, right? Good. But for a fool, you cannot do that because the fool, you cannot really test it uh, like a flashlight. So this is the kind of tool you can use to test it. Test something that is um, that you cannot really test by physically touching and stuff. So what you're doing with this okay the first the first drop okay the first result is about the it's about the physical i mean like the outside the surface okay the outside how it is like like okay this light the physical is very nice okay there's no scratches so it looks good right it looks good okay now what about the uh inside i don't know so i have to diff again second divination inside oh there's battery okay there is battery inside the mechanism is working fine stuff inside it's good okay i do my third divination now is it really working well yes it is working okay so that's great so it means that the whole thing is pretty good it's good to go so for a foo, right, you also want to uh, do a divination to see how the foo is like, okay? So the cups, you got to understand, okay, what they mean. When it's like this, okay, you can even look, it's like a cup right now, okay? What I mean by the cup is like, look at this, the shape, okay? It's like this, a cup. Okay, now when it's like this, the flat surface on the table. Basically, that's what it means, literally, okay? Now, um, how do you really, like, uh, understand the cup when you want to ask how the subject absorbed something or how does it really do, okay? We want to test to see how this is like by using a cup when it's in the yang the yong bui like this the cup is like that but when it's like this the yum the yin is pouring out okay so this is basically as simple as the cup is like this or the cup is like this imagine there's water coming in okay so when it's like that it can't be saying that there's water uh, inside this cup at this moment but it's staying like this so there is possibilities okay and also it's a good it's like a mostly a good thing because it's waiting for things to come in too there can be some um, there can be different uh, meaning with the yang like this because it can mean that uh, the water can come in any time or I can say the cup is full it's waiting to be poured in right now when it's in the yum uh, yin right here it means that it's pouring out 
but it can also mean that it's using up the stuff inside okay so you got to understand what it means now when we do a divination okay we drop both cups down and look so there are three possibilities when it's like that we call that the yang okay the yang yang what it means is that the cup is actually like this at the moment okay now this when it goes like that it means the cup is like this at the moment okay now when the when the, this thing is like that okay what it means is a sing pui sing meaning that things is pouring into here okay yang and yin at the same time meaning that okay something is waiting and something is something is pouring inside okay it's flowing through so that means that when you see this this uh, sing pui right here it means that yup it's flowing in okay it's flowing in so if we are testing let's say uh, a foo okay this is my foo I want to test uh, to give about my foo how am I doing uh, after I'm done with the foo so I will hold both cup with my hand do the link some hard spells of both hands holding it and then put this at the head level okay touching your forehead you put you uh, enter your input your question um, how is this foo on the altar right now uh, I want to I want to ask how is the foo right here so far is it is it done with the uh, chick foo and stuff okay after I'm done I uh, knock my forehead to this three times bang 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 and then I will go teen ling ling day ling ling cup cup you know ling and then I'll drop okay now let's try three drops and then we will we'll decode it together okay so let's go first drop I'll just do random drops okay random drop okay your first drop is yum yin so the in the, the surface of the food okay overall at a glance okay is not good okay it's kind of empty uh, you see where the cup is like this okay it's empty with everything pouring out so the surface of the foo the outside uh, the light of the foo okay it's not very good so the first why is the surface not good well it can be like this okay the, the flashlight now is at the yin stage it's not turned on it's not always the worst case okay it doesn't mean that your foo is busted because it can mean the, the flashlight is turned not turned on okay but you still have battery inside you see you can turn it on right so it doesn't mean that it's dead it's just that it's off right now on the surface okay so maybe let's say we can do hoi guang okay ding and the light will come out again so it's not the end of the world okay what's the second second divination inside okay inside Okay, inside is gang. So the inside of this is like this. Okay, the inside inside the battery is yang, meaning that it's kind of um, it it's kind of empty. Okay, it's ready to absorb. There's possibility, but um, it's waiting. <laughs> okay, it's waiting. Uh, okay, so. The inside battery is it's good, but it's need to be charged. Third one, sing. Okay, sing, sing. Meaning the third, the third one is how. Okay, when the outside and the inside, the battery and stuff. Okay, combined together. When you use it, how is it going to be like? Well, it's going to be okay. Okay, it's working. So that means okay, we got a yum for the outside okay yum for the outside meaning the outside is off at this moment the inside is yang meaning that it's ready at standby we don't know if the cup inside is full or not okay it just shows that the inside is yang yang can be meaning that it's full okay because when it's like this 
it's for sure not full, okay? Here, the inside can be full or can be empty. It just means that the cup itself is at this this status, right? At this status, it can be full or it can be not full. You don't know, right? Now, if it say that at the end, that is a sink, meaning that when you use it, it's going to flow through, then the inside must have water. So the second time when it's like this, okay, you you must have water. Like the battery is for sure charged. It's just that it's not showing um, the, the the power at this moment. So, well, it means that the food is fine. It's ready to go. But you can also be uh, maybe doing something like Hoi Kwong, okay, some of us are going to say, you think of you like, and then that means that you turn it on, and now the food is turned on, right? So maybe if you really want the food to show its power, then you do a Hoi Kwong to output the battery, and then maybe you do a divination again, okay? Now it's Yang Yang, Yang Pui is like this, okay? So the outside is now Yang. Yang is like this, okay? Stand by. Stand by. Meaning that the outside looking good. It's stand by, ready to do work at this moment. So it's good, ready to go. Get the idea? Okay, let's try another divination together. Uh, do some random drops and we'll, you know, do more examples so you understand. How is this fool right now, okay? Da -da 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 -da. At the forehead, okay, remember always harsh spells. And then forehead. Forehead will ask, how is this food doing? Teen ling ling, day ling ling, cup cup you do ling. Okay, on the surface itself is a sing bui, meaning that on the surface, at this moment, okay, you see the surface is sing, it's a good sign, meaning that on the surface the food is working. So you see light coming out, okay? Now, how's the inside? I don't know. Let's see. On the surface, it look, it's looking good. Energy coming in, okay? Sing is when, okay, pouring in. So energy is coming in. Good, okay, there's light on the surface. Okay, the second time. The inside is a germ. Okay, so the battery inside my food, okay? The food inside is like this. So it's receiving my energy from the altar. Okay, third time. Okay, the third time is a sing. So it's going to be fine because it's coming up and when I'm going to use it later on, the okay, energy is flowing through and for sure it's going to give me power. So at this stage, it means that my food is doing good. Okay, there is energy coming in from the surface, from the outside, okay, from my altar to the food. Okay, there's energy pouring through inside the battery okay, of the food. Inside is absorbing. Uh, it's, it's, it's containing the energy and when you're going to use it later on, okay, the energy will come out without problem. That's good, okay? Let's do another divination. So you take the cup, okay, and then you infuse your stuff. Okay. Now the outside is a sing. Okay, meaning that outside you see energy coming in from the the uh, altar on the surface doing fine. Okay, good start. And then second drop is the yang again. Okay, just like last time. So the battery is awaiting. And then oops. Okay, we'll take this one. The last time is yin. Oh oh. Okay, what problem? Well, that means when you use it. Okay, when you're using the food, that's what happened when you when you're gonna use it. Okay, so now the same, the similar uh, divination result coming up, but the last one is the yin. Now, what is this supposed to mean? Is well, at this moment, okay, there is energy coming in from the altar to the food. That's right. The food, the battery itself is fine. The battery inside is containing and grabbing that energy. So that's good, right? When you're using it, when it's coming back out, it's at the yin stage. Now, that is not good, okay? 
because we want a sing, okay? When we're going to use it at the third time, when we're going to use the food, we want it to pour out with a sing or maybe a yearn like this, okay? That's going to be fine. It's going to be on standby mode. But if I'm going to use the food and I got a, this one, it means that when you're going to use it, there's not enough battery inside. So, well, what happened? Well, it's like a flashlight, okay? Now, there is power coming in, like if the surface is nice. Inside, there's battery, it's charging, it's good, okay? When I'm going to use it later on, there will be some hiccups. Maybe the battery got drained. Maybe the battery is not enough. Maybe something happened. You don't know, right? You don't know why, but at the end, there must be some issue, okay? Now, that, that is the point when you're in dog. You want to know why is this a yum bui? Well, we got a sing coming in from the first divination. So the first time on the surface, okay, from the altar to the foo, it's fine. And the second one is charging, uh, uh, is the yang, okay, for the second div. So it's fine, it, it's grabbing in. But why is the last one not coming out, not coming back out? Okay, there is a little problem with energy not coming back out. So maybe I will do a hoi guang to test it. After I did the hoi guang, -da, on this, okay, open the light. And now I will live again after the hoi guang, okay. And I got a sing. Oh, okay, now it's, it's coming out. So it's just missing some hoi guang right there, okay. Now, if in this case, I still got a yam pui, then what happened means, okay, that I tried to open the light and it's still not turning on. Uh-oh, that's the problem. There's a problem with the battery inside not enough or not suited for this issue. Or oh, there's not enough firepower. Maybe like, okay, if I'm using this food for protection, for exorcism, for something like that, maybe it's saying that the food uh, does not have enough energy inside to, to do the job or maybe is foreseeing some kind of issues whatever it is so you might want to get some other extra power from the altar to uh, pump it inside the the food uh, stuff like that so the case can vary okay remember but uh, it's up to you to find out what's the problem so let's do another divination again for the food okay um, one more example Okay, on the surface is the yin. Okay, don't be afraid because that means that on the surface right now, okay, showing on the full. Okay, right now the surface is uh, there's no light. Okay, so what what the heck is going on? Second time. Okay, inside is like this. So there's no light and the inside is kind of, I don't know, okay, maybe it's dry, maybe something. Okay, yin, yang. Okay, when I'm going to use it, it's going to be fine. So when I'm going to use it, it's going to be fine, then it means that it's just lacking some activation process, something like that, okay? Uh, the inside battery is for sure not really, 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 really strong at this moment. I might want to charge it up a little bit more or do a hoi guang, okay? Try to turn it on and see if it's working. So I did the hoi guang. Now let's try. After the hoi guang, I got to sing, okay? So that means after I try to turn it on, it's turning on, but maybe, okay, not the best power, but it's gonna work, okay? Now, if I do a hoi guang after that, okay? And I got a yang at the, at the, uh, at the end. After I did the hoi guang and the cup is like that, meaning that it's kind of waiting, okay? Waiting, then it's not responsive. It's like the food. It's just on standby mode. After I click the button, it's still not turning on, not turning on, okay? Well, that's the problem. It means that the battery inside can be not enough, not sufficient enough to power up your food, right? So what happened is, at this time, you might want to get help from the altar. Uh, get the food on the altar and get some help from the uh, pot and stuff. And then after that, you may want to, you know, try other things. And then we'll divination again and see what happened. Oh, now you got to sing, okay? It's flowing, flowing through, so that's good. So when you're trying to ask a question, remember you don't always need to drop three times. Sometimes you just need a surface answer. 
Uh, so that's just one drop. Um, let's say, okay, I, I got a message from an altar. It says that my food is lacking, um, whatever, okay, it's lacking something. And then I, I put my stuff in, I did my job, and then I just need to give one more time. How's it right now? Okay, oh, it's doing fine. Oh, it's doing not fine. It's, it's good. Stuff like that, okay? So you only need one time to get a ver verification answer for what you have done. Uh, you do not need to re uh, div three times again to oh, uh, like to to uh, divination like div this thing again. You just need to do it one time to make sure what you have done and how is it on the surface right now after you did the the the, the changes. Okay, basically that's how it works. Now let's say if I'm going to Chang Sun. Okay. I just welcome in the energy from my altar. Now I will always do a divination. Okay, after the Chang San, you want to know how's the status of the altar. Okay, if I got a sing right, okay, drop this on the ground, and then I got this sing right here. It means okay, energy is coming in. Good. You don't need to dip the inside, okay? One drop is very, very enough after the Chang Sun because you just need to know right away after Chang Sun, how is it going? Okay, like this, flowing in, good, okay? After the Chang Sun, you're like this, okay? It means that your cup is like that and uh, it, it can be full, okay? It can mean that it's full or it can mean that it's empty, I don't know. So to make sure, I will do a second combination inside okay the inside is also like this uh well i i'm still not sure because at this moment the inside is like that too but is it full inside i don't know so i need a third one to make sure okay the third one is a sink so when i'm going to do work it's going to be fine okay so the when i'm going to use the odor it's going to be fine that means the inside must have water, must have stuff inside for me to use. That's okay. If my third one is like that, or my third one is still like that, okay, now that is a big problem. That means when I'm going to use it, it's going to be dry up, okay? That means I don't have enough stuff inside. So you got to check, okay? Uh, let's let's do it again. I just did my tank sun. How's it going? Good. Okay, so it's flowing in. Very good. Now... I just did my tank sun. How's it going? Not good. Your your status is like that. Okay. That means the the tank sun energy the, from the lineage did not come. There's nothing in. Okay. Your your altar is empty. Why? I don't know why. Why? Okay. You ask again. So the inside of your altar is pouring in. Okay. So for sure it means that. Uh, your the inside of your altar okay got some stuff at least okay there are stuff inside your altar but on the surface looking at it there's nothing coming down at this moment well third time Yin, when I'm going to do work and use the altar I will not have enough energy well that means your tank sun must have failed okay now what to do well it might be the energy from uh, the lineage not coming to your place or maybe you're lacking something or maybe it's just a bad day it's just like you're trying to call a friend okay sometimes you call the friend the friend is not mad at you but the friend is just not home or something like that okay you don't know why the friend is not picking up the phone so at this moment you will want to do something uh, to rush or to help the tanks and energy to, to, to really come in. You might want to use the Leng Pai uh, or other methods or whatever it is, okay? Or burn more incense and stuff like that just to get more energy in. And then you would dip again, okay? After I'm done with my work, divination shows, sing, okay? The energy is pouring in now. Very good. Sometimes it could be just a small issue. Sometimes it can be a big issue. You don't know yet, but that is up to your personal experience and how you communicate with the altar to understand what is going on. At this moment, if you are in doubt, you have to message me uh, online and stuff to ask 
and by uh, looking at different things on your altar, you will be able to diagnose uh, what is going on. Sometimes your candles, your incense, all kinds of things can be showing you signs of what is happening. Sometimes even um, uh, like when you're more advanced with uh, the communication of your altar, you can be listening and really like listening and getting a message from the altar about what is actually going on. Okay, so if you have a yum like this uh, on the first divination after the Chang Sun, it's not always a bad thing because on the surface your altar is like like that. Okay, it could mean that your altar is actually uh, detoxing stuff at this moment or, or needing to conclude stuff. I don't know. Okay, it depends. So how do you determine what is the problem? Well, first. There is the ability to communicate with your altar and listening to what the altar say. But that is not possible for some newbies. So by looking at different things, you're trying to guess and then test your second one to see what's going on inside your altar to estimate and actually predict what is going on. And of course you have to verify by your third shift and see how is it going. Okay, so the first one is how is the stuff on the surface? Second one is how is the stuff inside this thing? And third is when you use it, okay? How's the result going to be at the end? Just like saying the first one is the flashlight. You look at it, how's it? Second is the battery and stuff inside. You cannot see it, okay? But now you know battery is good or not good, okay? Now when you use it, how is it? going to be like well it's flowing through it's not throwing through or maybe there's some hiccup okay it's not responding stuff like that okay you don't know right so your altar is like a balloon with air how's the balloon it's leaking okay it's it's inflated or maybe it's not inflated but it's waiting to be inflated you don't know right now, how's the balloon inside? Well, there's air, there's no air. Or maybe it's inflating, okay? Well, you don't know. Now, when I'm gonna use the balloon, how is it gonna be? It's gonna not fly up, it's gonna float up. Or maybe saying, oh, it's uh, lacking some air so that it's not gonna fly very high, it's not gonna really float up, but there is air. So, it depends, okay? So, everything got three uh, divination, you understand how the stuff is, is right now, how is it going to uh, be inside, and how is the final result going to be when you use that stuff. You can also do divination to ask about the energy of your house, the stuff like that, okay? When you're divinating, uh, if you're divin divinating about your house and stuff, the energy, th energy flow, you can div like, okay, the first divination, tells you about the uh, house, the energy at the, in general on the surface, okay? The second one tells you about how is it inside. And then the third one is how is it when it come out, okay? Like when it's really being used, how it's gonna affect this world and such like that. So the first one is, okay, uh, let's try, uh, try one example, okay? How's the house energy? Yang, okay? So the first thing I've got, from uh, my definition is the yang cup, okay? So at this moment, right at this moment, the house energy is like this. I don't know, is it, like it's a good sign, but I don't know inside, okay, is there stuff inside or not? I don't know yet. My second definition is a sing, okay? So inside, uh, this thing, there's stuff flowing in, okay? So there are stuff inside the cup, In inside the uh, the house. Okay? When I'm going to use it, it's going to flow through. So that is a pretty good thing. It means that my house is going to, uh, like the energy is flowing fine and it's benefiting whatever you try to do with the house. It's going to come through. Energy is going to be okay. Okay. So at this moment, your house is doing fine. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad thing. But Okay, let's say if the situation is different, if you're asking a different question, let's say, um, is there any evil crap at my house right now? Okay, and you've got this kind of stuff. Well, it means that yes, evil crap could be there. Okay, so it depends how you ask the question and what, 
what you're asking. So that's it for today. Hope you like it and understand how to do your definition cups. Um, at the end, I would like to add a little bit of um, uh, knowledge about which cup to choose. So I'll take you to my altar and then we'll look at the different cups right here for the last bit of this lesson. Okay, so you see basically we have a bunch of cups. I'm just going to work with the most uh, uh, basic ones, okay? So we got three color as the most basic one, okay? Now for asking anything related to your alter internal work like something in progress okay like if you're going to uh tick food okay uh how does my work with the food go how is it doing okay something in progress okay inside the altar system still working inside use the brown cup anything related to pre-heaven issue um like things that have not happened yet anything about the stuff that has not yet happened or maybe about absorbing in like things coming in to your altar okay let's say um uh, anything you know how is it absorbing into this subject we use the black one okay now uh, you can also dip about anything like, oh, I just got this feeling. How is it going to be? Okay, feeling. Okay, something is not visible, right? Um, like a pushing force. Okay, feeling. Uh, use this one. Okay. Now, this one is something that your alter output, the red, okay, output. Um, so, from one subject, how is it outputting? So, when I'm doing my tanks, and I would like to use the red cup because I want to test to see how my altar is in this dimension when it's output, right? I don't need to know this one. This one is about how's the uh, stuff coming in to the, the altar. I just need to know how the altar is doing when it's in, like, I'm going to use it. So, I just need to use this one. If this one is fine, this one you don't need to test, okay? Now, um, basically, that's how you choose. Anything related to um, thing that is, is about to happen or things happened in this world, the physical world, use the red cup, okay? Uh, this one is mostly with things in progress. So we'll be like asking about things happening, working in progress inside the altar. This one I use a lot because whenever I do some work and when it test how's the work done, I will use this one. So you use this one a lot. This one more about how your altar output and then this one how your altar intakes. Now if you want to have something new uh, to come into your system, like your altar will be using this one, okay? This is the most unique one. Now this one is about how, like if you want to um, acquire something, you want to get something new into the system, okay? Like say, okay, the system is your house, okay? I want to buy a sofa, how is it going to be? Or I'm going to, you know, um, uh, I'm going to make baby and I have a kid. Is that a good idea? Then you can do this kind of stuff. For me, usually, you know, when I'm accepting a new disciple, I'll be using this one to ask how is this disciple going to be or is the name for this disciple going to be right, whatever. And I'll get a divination result for that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, whenever you want to ask um, the the intention or like how the altar main energy uh, is feeling like the jiaozi of the altar is feeling about something uh, like a new idea or stuff like that use this cup okay so if you want to ask jiaozi's um, for anything you ask with the uh, this cup so another um uh, another issue is like, okay, I got a divination with this one and they say that it's not so good, okay? I want to maybe just verify with Josie, I can also use this one, okay? So this one is more like a divination cup that deals with the highest power, highest authority, or anything coming into your altar. Something new coming in. How's it going to be, okay? Something new. Okay, so basically that's how it goes and basically mostly you'll be working with three cups all the time and 
Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.